Hi there, so I am adding a voiceover to the process I used to fix an EverDrive GBX7. Um, I bought the EverDrive GBX7 because I was getting an analog um, and uh, an analog pocket, and uh, when I put it in, I was not able to change games. Um, it's something that affects some of the EverDrive cartridges, not all of them. Um, and then just last week I came across a post on Reddit saying that if you change the three ferret beads that are sitting at the bottom of the cartridge uh, for this different ferret bead, the, uh, the serial number I put up on the screen, um, it will fix the problem. So this is me, I mean I'm running everything at kind of 150% speed so you have to watch my, uh, my soldering too much, um, but this is me removing the ferret beads and replacing it. So uh, just for anyone looking to do this, I've got a hot air gun. Um, it's not a particularly expensive one, um, pretty kind of box standard job off Amazon. Um, I am running at uh, 440 degrees centigrade and I'm using uh, the three out of eight on the scale, which I believe is about 40% airspeed. Um, and uh, something I've learned through practice, but also being told to do it is to keep my um, my air gun moving on the board and don't just kind of like focus in a single spot um, and it keeps kind of me from burning anything on the board I mean there's nothing plastic here uh, to, to worry about too much um, but uh, yeah I keep my my airflow kind of moving around the area that I want to heat up so this is the replacement ferret bead going in from what I understand, the profile is slightly different, so uh, the filtering works differently. Don't really understand the full te technicals of it. Someone uh, very clever interpreted a uh, tweet from uh, um, uh, Crix. I don't maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but Crix, the uh, the developer behind the EverDrive, um, and was able to kind of work out that it needed a new ferret bead. So uh, here, just kind of putting the new um, component back on, surface tension is kind of putting in the right place. Um, and you'll see that I haven't tinned the pads at all. I'm just adding more flux just to kind of help help the heating process really. Um, there's enough, I think there's enough uh, solder there in the first place to kind of attach the new, new ferret beads. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So both removing and Replacing the uh, the hot air is, like I said, 440 degrees centigrade um, and a 3 out of 8, so approximately 40% airspeed. Um, possibly that should be a little bit lower, uh, the airspeed, I think, just because um, I do, I have blown components off the board. Um, but, you know, since I'm moving the air around all the time, I've, I've gone a lot better at not doing that. Uh, but I can tell you... I have a lot of uh, mishaps under my belt when it comes to using the hot air gun. Um, so you can see service tension is not really working for me here. I do actually need to give it a little bit of a prod. Um, I'm holding, I'm left handed, so I'm holding the, uh, the the air gun in my left hand, which is why my tweezers are very wobbly um, and I managed to kind of semi tombstone that component. Um, but we'll get it back down again. And it will be all good. And then the plan for testing is to put it back into the Game Boy, make sure that it works the way it used to, and then actually pop it into the analog to see if I can change uh, ROMs directly in the analog. And if I can do that, then I'll be very pleased. Right, it's looking good. Let's switch over to the Game Boy. Initial test. Okay. Yeah, I know the battery's low, but let's see if we can actually. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's try and change to a different game. And then we'll try the analog, which was the whole point of this uh, this bit of work. Yeah, I saw the flashing, so it should be good. Cool. 
Okay, so now, moment of truth. So one hand a job to put into the analog uh, without breaking the screen. Let's pop that in there. Let's turn this bad boy on. Oh. Right, we're completely off. Let's see what we get. So let's just try something completely different. Oh yeah, that's superb.